Hello there. It looks like there will be a reset in post-Brexit relations between the EU and UK to try and smooth things over. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost. And I'm always uploading new content, so please do check back every day. And a big thanks to my Patreon and PayPal supporters. With the EU-UK Trade and Cooperation Agreement set to be ratified by the end of April, it seems that senior EU and UK figures are keen to use this to reset our relationship, according to RTE's Tony Connolly and The Express. The expectation is that the EU Parliament will sign off the TCA on March the 24th, ready for it to be fully ratified by the EU and UK by the end of April. But with ongoing tensions, Tony Connolly tweeted that There has been a fractious start to the new post-Brexit relationship from January the 1st, with simmering tensions over the Northern Ireland Protocol, vaccine procurement, the EU Embassy in London, shellfish exports and alleged discrimination of five Eastern European member states over UK work visas. And he goes on to say that there is concern at the top of the EU that without a reset in relations things will continue to fester into a permanent tension. And there are also concerns that by putting Lord David Frost into the mix as the main UK negotiating contact with the EU, Boris Johnson has inserted a little more tension into the pot. Now, one of the main EU concerns, it seems, is the status of the EU ambassador to London. The UK downgraded the post from full status once the implementation period ended on January the 1st, reflecting that the EU is not actually, as yet, a full sovereign country, whereas its member states are. That did not go down well with Brussels and has needled them ever since, so it's one of the bargaining chips on the table, I suppose. Now, I'm all for good relations, but it is a two-way thing. And with the EU doing things like using the Northern Ireland Protocol as a weapon to make a territorial land grab over Northern Ireland, so undermining the Good Friday Agreement, they show they do not have a good track record here. And so far, I've seen little of the EU playing by their own Article 8 of the Lisbon Treaty, requiring them to act cooperatively with their neighbours, which is us. Maybe this is the start of it, though. But one point to note is that our relations with the EU were never totally sweetness and light, even as full members. And as a third country, we will continue to have tensions with them. There is no way around that. But with talk, negotiation and cooperation where needed, I'm sure we can get along. But that does not require the UK to rejoin the bloc. So what do you think about all of this? Please share and comment below. And if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it by following the link in the descriptions box below and support me on Patreon or PayPal. And thank you for watching.